Are you thinking about building a custom patio home in the Columbus, Ohio suburbs? If so, you've got to check out this video where I'm going to take you inside a brand new community in the Columbus, Ohio suburb of Powell. This community is so new that if you're watching this video on the premiere or shortly after the premiere, the grand opening hasn't even happened yet. So you're getting a sneak peek and an exclusive look, a first look at this neighborhood. Again, this is in one of the most uh, desirable suburbs in the Columbus, Ohio area. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two homes. So the model home, as well as a home that is for sale. And I want you to tell me in the comments, which one is your favorite. I'll make sure to let you know which one I prefer as well. But let's go ahead and head inside and check out the first home. All right, so here we have the home that is for sale. I'm gonna go check out this side over here just so I don't have to walk through the mud. But uh, as you can see, uh, you also have a front porch on here. You do on this one, you have a side load garage. So I do appreciate that you have uh, a sidewalk that takes you from the driveway over to the front door. So that's nice if you need to go in that way. Um, let's go check out the inside of this home and uh, let me know what you think. Got the nice high ceilings again on the uh, front porch. Apologize, it is a bit windy today. That's a nice, nice, nice neighborhood. All right, here we go inside the home that is for sale. So you have nice high ceilings here. And right off of the entrance here, we do have an office. Got a nice feature wall in here. Now, I say office, it could be used as a bedroom. You do have a very good sized closet right here. And obviously you have nice windows looking out onto your front porch, but you also have an ensuite bathroom. So really this is a bedroom, but they have probably kind of a little bit steered it towards being an office because that's more than likely what people might use it for, but would still be a awesome bedroom with a beautiful feature wall and a chandelier uh, as your life fixture there. So really nice. Actually, I'm just noticing now the flooring in here. I really like this nice wide plank floor. That's great. And over here actually is a powder room. So for your main level, you're not just using uh, that bathroom over there for guests, which is great. But they have their own half bathroom and that full bathroom can remain private. Beautiful light fixture here as well in the half bathroom. So real quick, let's check out over here, actually. I hadn't opened this up, so I'm hoping this is just a coat closet, which it is. And it's a quite spacious coat closet at that. So here we have your drop zone area. Again, some nice built-ins here. And then across from that is the two car garage. So now I am gonna come back over this way real quick to show you the main level laundry room here. You don't often see a nice modern light fixture in a laundry room but you've got it right here. So, and then here we go into the main living area. So I like how this is laid out here. You've got uh, just where the, the way the stairs are, where you can go on either side of the stairs. I always think that's a great look. Let me turn around here so you can see the fireplace. You don't quite get the full feature when you walk in from that side, but when you get over here, you realize, wow, this is a really big fireplace. I love it. I wasn't realizing that at first, but no, it really is big. You got that big mantle as well. Nice high ceilings in here. And then now we have the kitchen. Very spacious. I like the queen, the clean white, uh, cabinets, also the countertops. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
feels very cohesive. I love the faucet here as well. Got your microwave there. And a nice space over here for a you know, coffee maker or whatever you would like to put, put there. And then you do have a really nice pantry area over here. You do have a pocket door so you can close it off if uh, you need to use it as a prep space and then keep it messy. So I appreciate the fact that they put this window in here. You didn't have to put a window, but you did. So that's great. And plenty of storage space here. So I didn't notice this before, but there's also another pocket door on this side. So you can enter to the pantry uh, straight from the garage. So this is the garage entry. So you can come right in here to put your things in here. Obviously anything that goes on the shelf can go right here. You could put down things as you're wanting to get them put away, all in this area, which is great. There's, I'm just noticing now too, there's so much counter space in this kitchen, which is great. That way you don't have to put groceries on the floor just to get them in the house. Um, obviously get things put away in your fridge, keep going back and forth. I love how they actually designed that. That is really cool to make it very easy to get things in from the garage into your pantry but your pantry doubles as kind of a, a staging area, right? You can put things down, get them where you need to go. Very cool. All right, I actually, I really like this dining space too. So that chandelier is awesome. It reminds me of another chandelier. I wonder if it was the same builder that used it in a different home or if it was a different builder, but it reminds me of one that I've seen. I believe it was a home at Evans Farm, which actually was this builder. So. Here you do have a little covered veranda area. And uh, I appreciate the fact that you do have the privacy on both sides here. So it would just be looking back, you know, because on either side, it's your home. So uh, the only thing where you would have people who could see you is if you're looking straight back, not side to side. So let's go check out the basement next. And uh, yeah, I just love the fact in these homes, they have these really high ceilings. So these seem to be 10 foot ceilings in here. And then I believe it goes up to 11 feet at the top of the tray in the living room. So let's go check out the basement. So here we do have some really nice carpet on the stairs and going into the basement. And I like the layout in this type of basement where you have kind of this bump out room here. Obviously it's still part of this space, but that way if you wanna have something that's a little bit out of the way, you can. Um, so I appreciate having that where it's not just only one big open room, but it gives a little bit of defined space there. So that's really nice. And then over here real quick, I do wanna show you the unfinished area, just so you can get a feel for it. So it's still a lot of space for storage, you know, maybe you could finish this area over here if you were wanting to. Uh, you still have high ceilings at least eight and a half feet below the drywall and eight feet here below this steel beam as well. So lots of space still in here. And then over this way, I want to show you something that's a little bit unique. You don't often see this in uh, these finished lower levels. So. This technically would not be considered a bedroom, but you know, maybe an office, maybe an exercise room, whatever you want to call it. They don't have egress windows. It also doesn't have a closet. Obviously you could add one or there's space if you wanted to add a wardrobe or something in it. But since it doesn't have two points of egress, it's not technically a bedroom, but over here you do have a bedroom with a really cool light fixture. I didn't even notice in the other one. Okay. So the other one does not have, a light fixture like that, it just has recessed lighting. So this is a great size room, especially for being in the lower level. Uh, this is bigger than a lot of bedrooms that you'll see in kind of the typical home builder that they have in their upper level bedrooms. So really great space here in the basement for a guest room or just you know, maybe have a 
an adult child or a child that you would want to put down here. So great space if you need additional bedrooms here in the basement. So finally, let's head back on upstairs and check out the primary bedroom. All right, so here we are. It's just a giant hallway, that's it, that's the whole room. I'm kidding, okay, so I like that it's a hallway though. I, I, that's actually one of my favorite features about it. So you got a big walk-in closet right here, right as you enter. Which actually, if you think about it, it's kind of nice. So your closet is closest to your laundry room, right? So if you get dressed in here, or if you take off clothes that you need to wash, you're just bringing your laundry hamper right here, or maybe you just have your laundry hamper in uh, the laundry room. But, so that was actually a really smart design to put the closet as close as possible to your laundry room. But because you didn't put the door in the closet, you know, because if they wanted to do a door to the laundry room, then you lose closet space in here. But it's so close, makes it convenient still. I think that was a win-win and a really smart design move. All right, so let's check out first the bedroom. Really high ceilings in here, wow. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna estimate, again, I think that's probably 11 feet at the top of the tray, like it is in the living room. If I just put my hand up, I can reach eight feet. So I'm just estimating how many feet are above that. So I love the look of this tray ceiling, as well as that chandelier. Very nice. Nice size room. Again, you could easily have a king size bed. It's still gonna feel spacious in here, even with other furniture. Again, I love the hallway too. That way you have the, uh, you know, you don't have all the sound just coming from the door right into the bedroom. It has to come all the way down the hallway first. So really nice. And then here we have the bathroom. So I love these mirrors. Very stylish. Love the countertop. Very cool look. And here you do have a pretty spacious water closet, which is rare. It feels like normally they're tiny, but uh, that one's nice and big. And then here is the shower. Just very big as well. All right, so this is the home that is for sale. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that first home tour, but don't leave yet. We still gotta go see the model home, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Before we get to the next home, I just wanna take a moment to say welcome and thank you for watching. If you wanna know everything about living in Columbus, Ohio, moving to Columbus, Ohio, or relocating to Columbus, Ohio, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and tap the bell so you can be the first to know what's happening right now in the Columbus, Ohio real estate market. And you know what, even more important than subscribing is to reach out to me. If you're thinking about moving to Columbus, Ohio, or maybe you already live here and you're thinking about buying or selling a home, make sure to reach out to me. I'll have your back in throughout the buying or selling process. So you can contact me. My information will be here on the screen by text, email, you can call me, or you can also schedule a Zoom call with me so I can help you make a smooth move to Columbus, Ohio. If you're not familiar, Powell, Ohio is a suburb on the north side of Columbus. It's in the Olentangy School District, which is one of the highest rated school districts in the Columbus, Ohio area, and also the state of Ohio. So if schools are important to you, Powell is a great location to live. If you'd like more information about this brand new community, I'd be happy to send it over to you. So what you can do is just send me a text or you can send me an email and just send me your name and your contact information and I will get that sent over to you right away. Now let's go check out the model. All right, here we have the exterior of the model home. Uh, like you can see here, beautiful dark color. Also, I really like the stone that they have here on the exterior, as well as the, the stone driveway. Really nice. It's got some great accents on here, great features. And let's go check out the inside of this home. Actually, really quick, I'm just noticing, you got this great front porch here as well. 
really high ceilings on it. Beautiful light out here. So let's go ahead and check out the inside. All right, here we are just inside this home and wow. Okay, first impression, this home is absolutely stunning. I know I might say that and say, oh, this is a stunning home. This is really stunning. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, check out this island, the chandeliers. And check out this backsplash. That's what just caught my eye when I was standing on the other side of the island. Got a beautiful gas range. I love the crown molding at the top of the cabinets as well. This is just absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful kitchen. And this is a very wide kitchen as well. You could have the dishwasher and the oven open at the same time and still get through. Oh man, this is just stunning. As you can see here, got some space for storage here, as well as your dishwasher and your microwave. You have your fridge over here, a little coffee area over here. I love the open cabinets right there as well. All right, let's check out real quick uh, what's over to this side. So right here is your two car garage. So here you have your drop zone with storage all the way up, which is really nice. Love the, how they did the baskets in there. Nice deep bench to sit on as well as store shoes underneath. And here you have your laundry room with a huge sink. For not being just a plain, you know, gross looking utility sink, I think this is the largest laundry room sink I've seen in all the homes that I've toured. So nice, nice tile flooring here in the laundry room. And then over here, this is a unique location. You don't often see it like this, uh, but you have your office over here by the garage. It's actually kind of nice in some regard that it's not that main room right at the front of the house. It's near the garage. And you do have a closet in here, so, you know, if you wanted to do like a Murphy bed or something like that to where it could become a guest room, you could easily do that because you have a nice, really big closet. Wow, all the way spans the entire length of the room. So plenty of space in here for storage, which is great. Really beautiful light fixture in here as well. I like the darker tones that they have, but you got the darker, you know, like the dark gray with the light wood floor. You can't see too much of it because of the rug, but it's a really nice contrast in here. All right, let's go check out. Now back over this way. Well, really quick, let me show you. Here's your front entryway chandelier. So over here you have your first bedroom, which I really like uh, this light fixture that they have in here. And I like the two windows up on the side there. Again, more natural light. Uh, that's the direction of uh, the road. And obviously, you know, eventually maybe there would be, actually I don't think there will be another house right there. Uh, there won't be, but uh, anyway, you still get the light without any extra privacy concerns. So here you have your closet. Again, you've got a nice tall closet. And again, you've got nice high doors as well. So right here is a coat closet. And then here we have a bathroom. Oh, check out this mirror. That's so cool. Not something you see every day in a secondary bathroom is a mirror that looks that nice. Looks like they're missing a piece on that 
left light fixture to cover it. So it's supposed to look like that. That looks really nice. I love those lights. Get a nice herringbone pattern for the tile on the floors. There we go, now you can kind of see it. And then you do have a nice tub shower combo with the sliding glass door. Very nicely done. All right, let's go check out the living room now. And I can't get enough of this kitchen. What do you think? Do you like this kitchen? The color combination, the size, the size of the island. I mean, this is a huge island, really big. And actually, I almost forgot to show you. I do wanna show you real quick because it's part of the kitchen is the pantry. So I like the mix. You got uh, some countertop space, you got some cabinets, you've got some open shelving, and then you also have more of like a pantry space as well for storing things away. So very nice, you know, for having a limited space, this is a very nice step in pantry. And I love the door and how they did that. So very cool. All right, so here is the living room. I hope you didn't get a sneak peek earlier of it because I think this is such, such a showcase piece. That fireplace is huge and beautiful. And the chandelier is amazing. I just absolutely love it. When I saw this, when I walked in the house, I thought, wow. This is amazing. Uh, I love the high ceilings in here. I am not entirely sure. It looks like it's about 12 feet um, at the height, at the top of the tray. So really, really nice. Just for reference sake, I'm gonna come a lot closer to the fireplace so you can see it a little bit better, but uh, it's really big. Very, very nice. So here I do want to just point out as well this back patio area. So this is a huge space out here. So again, very high ceilings. We've got fans out here. And again, enough space where you can easily have a lot of seating. You could have a table, you could have chairs, sofas extra seating area and then out here as well you have an additional patio space so you really have a lot that you can do here outside uh, enjoy the cooler weather like it is today it's a little bit rainy and windy but um, it's a really great space that you can get out here enjoy the summer months enjoy fall enjoy spring really really nice Can't get enough of how big this fireplace is. I don't know about you, I, I think it's the perfect size. Like, I know sometimes something could be too big and you think, oh man, that's actually not nice anymore. But this, I think, is so nice because of how big it is. Because if it was smaller, it just, it would almost feel like it doesn't fit the room, right? So you need it to be big. You have the very big kitchen, with the huge island, and again, a great dining space right here as well. But then when you look over here into the living room, you have this massive fireplace. Again, I think it's stunning. So really, really nice. Well, let's go check out the basement now. I love the Having the carpet on the stairs. So here we do have really great finished space. Obviously you have a, just kind of a multi-purpose area here where you can have seating, have an extra TV, 
set up a movie theater screen. They have foosball set up, a table for playing cards, playing games. They do also have a wet bar over here as well. Something that I see in a lot of homes by this builder is they do put the wet bar in, in the basement, and uh, it's really, really nice. Lots of storage. Oh, check out this sink. That is so cool. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you should be able to tell. Got like a gold sink. Very nice to match with the gold hardware on the cabinets. Very cool. All right, let's go over here and check out the lower level bedroom. So you have a big egress window, so that's really great. So that's, this is the back of the house where that window is. So that's right next to the patio. So pretty spacious room in here and it is Looks like it's about an eight and a half foot ceiling. So it doesn't feel as much like a basement. Obviously you look out and you see this from your window, but because of the fact that you have so much natural light coming in from the window, because it's such a big window, uh, like this is at least, it's probably a four foot high window. So a very big window. Uh, like the top of the window is about seven and a half feet high off the ground. Uh, but then you have these high ceilings in here. And again, a beautiful light fixture, um, like the bedroom upstairs. Again, you got a nice closet over here as well, which again, goes nicely over to each side. So it maximizes your space all the way over to the wall on both sides. And then let's go check out over here. We have a bathroom here in the lower level. So similar uh, cabinets and hardware to the wet bar. And a very nice shower here as well. And here you do have a linen closet. And let's go check out real quick just to show you. There's an unfinished space in here that's still massive. As big as this finished area is, you still have this huge unfinished space as well. Which again, the ceiling height in here um, at the highest here is over eight feet, probably eight and a half to nine feet high. And then even here under the bulkhead, this is eight feet right here, which is incredible. Oftentimes bulkheads are obviously a lot lower. So you've got plenty of space in here. If you wanted to finish it, or if you wanted to put a gym in here uh, to be able to you know, have things where you're, you know, lifting things over your head or have equipment that's tall. You got plenty of space to do that. So finally, let's go check out the primary bedroom. I know you're gonna love it, so stick around for that. Um, man, it's just so nice in here. Again, what an open area. Beautiful, let me just pan around here so you can see everything here. What a beautiful home. All right, let's go check out that primary bedroom. So I love that they put a mirror here. I know that's just the design of what they did in decorating the home. I love that they put a mirror there. All right, so here's the primary bedroom. Again, extremely high ceilings. I love the accent wall that you have there on the left. Basically a wall of windows here on the back of the home. So much space in here. It's really, really nice. So you've got your tray ceilings with molding in it as well to make it even nicer. And again, just some really neat, you can often see like a curve, an archway on the accent wall. So. Love that, obviously they have the lights built in on the wall, which is really nice. Let's go check out the bathroom now. So you've got this really nice tile flooring. And check 
checking out these really tall mirrors in the bathroom. I'm tall and these mirrors are even tall enough for me. <laughs> love it. And I love the, the wood grain on the cabinets. Here is your shower. Tile going up all the way to the ceiling. I love that it is a zero entry. So you literally can walk right in. You don't have to step up over anything at all. You have a water closet right here. And now your walk-in closet. I appreciate that they took advantage of the extra height in the room to give you extra storage where you can put things up on top of the shelf there. So they really maximize the space in here, which is really great, really smart to do. Let's just get you one more quick look here at the bathroom. All right, now that we've seen both of these homes, make sure to drop a comment below and let me know which one of them is your favorite. It's kind of tough for me. There's aspects of the home that's for sale that I like better. I like the hallway in the master bedroom uh, with the closet right at the front and how close it is to the laundry room. I also like actually the office being in the front. I know I said when we were walking through the model here that I kind of thought it was neat that it was off to the side. I think I actually prefer it being on the front though. So. But with that being said though, I think I still prefer the model home with just the layout of how you can see the fireplace in the living room when you first walk in, as well as the kitchen. It's just so, it just takes you, it almost takes your breath away in a good way. You just walk in and you think, wow, this is stunning. And of course, the bathroom there is incredible as well. So many stunning features in the model. Obviously in the model, they're gonna put all the bells and whistles in. So you have like the wet bar in the basement as well. But anyway, I would love to know what your favorite home is Obviously, if you don't want to take into account the added features in the model, the added upgrades and whatnot, if you just want to compare floor plans, I would love to hear your thoughts about that as well. I'm David DeLuey with Red One Realty, your Columbus, Ohio real estate agent, and I'll see you next time.